Boldwood presents Not in a Billion Years Written by Camilla Isley and read by Stephanie Cannon and Greg Miller-Burns The moral right of the author has been asserted. This performance is owned by Boldwood. To All Women Entrepreneurs Chapter 1 Blake when I said it was okay to go on the record, I wasn't trying to pick a fight with sexy billionaire Gabriel Mercer, I swear. But as my number two is kindly pointing out, that might be what I'm about to get. Evan pulls his blonde hair, saying, Did you really have to slander our biggest competitor in a national newspaper? I lean back in my chair and grimace at my second in command. Slander? What I said wasn't slander. Evan brandishes a printout of the Wall Street Journal article that came out today to celebrate my new gym opening and quotes my words back to me. I wouldn't call receiving an Ivy League education debt-free along with all the connections certain schools bring and having your startup money handed to you on a silver platter being self-made. You basically called him a spoiled brat. But I also said very positive things about him. I ask Evan for the printout and search for the right passage. Gabriel Mercer, I read aloud, is a skillful entrepreneur, he said. I pause for a moment, puzzled. Oh, a typo. They've turned me into a man. Can you call the paper and have them rectify it? Evan grabs the sheet of paper for me. He, she, must be the most common typo in the book. His eyes frantically scan the rest of the text. You're a she everywhere else. Readers will get that you're a woman. I'd still like the online version to be corrected. Will do, Chief. Anyway, being turned into a man isn't the problem. You picking a fight with Gabriel Mercer is. I only said he isn't self-made, which is factual. Still, Gabriel Mercer won't appreciate being called a rich boy in the press. Why did you have to go on the record stating it? I run my mouth, okay? I made a mistake. When the reporter cited him as an example of a self-made entrepreneur, I just lost my marbles that she calls someone with so much privilege, so much access self-made. And then she wouldn't strike the comment, no matter how many times I asked. So spilled milk. Should we post a retraction? No. Why not? Because it's true, and because that would bring even more attention to it. Maybe Mer I promise you, that man has a Google alert for his name. Then so be it. I throw my hands in the air. I don't have time to deal with potentially hurt, fragile male egos. I have a cardio class to teach in less than one hour. But I want to go over the Apex pitch first. Apex is the largest producer of fitness watches and trackers in the country and they're looking for a new sponsor partnership. I want it. Evan plonks onto the chair opposite my desk. I've updated the presentation. Our social media growth is exponential and our reach unparalleled. I bite the top of a pen, taking in Evan's gloomy face. But? But if you shrink down the numbers to the US market only, they're not as impressive. And I've heard their marketing director is more of a traditional... Dinosaur? I finished the phrase for him. Let's launch a new campaign to improve our domestic numbers. Bring Kara in on this, I say, referring to the head of marketing. Have her come to me with a few ideas. Anything else we can do to juice ourselves up for Apex? Unless you plan on becoming a 50-year-old white male with 2,500 physical locations, I don't think so. Shed 20 years off that description, and he's basically described Gabriel Mercer. I frown. Is power training in the run for the bid? Bidders are confidential, but we can assume Apex has reached out to them. And now you've given Mercer an extra reason to crush us. Then let's make sure our pitch is airtight. I drop the pen to avoid chewing on the back out of stress and stand up. I have to go change now or I'll be late for class. I round my old desk in the new office, which is sitting above my first brick-and-mortar fitness center. 
The glass wall new development is surrounded by a mix of older red brick buildings, former factories and warehouses designed by famous architects. A more soulful vibe that I preferred to the glass and steel forest uptown to set the new location of my company's headquarters. NoHo, north of Houston Street, with its cobblestone streets and vibrant artistic community, felt like the perfect place for my business to thrive. The view always puts a big smile on my face. Contrary to my COO, who, while also contemplating the sunny June day, still looks frowny and troubled. Relax, Evan. I walk up to him and pat his shoulder as he stands. What's the mighty Gabriel Mercer going to do anyway? Send me to bed without dinner? Bring it on. I'm all for the intermittent fasting. You're being brazen if you think making an enemy of such an influential man won't come back to bite you in the rear end. Mercer has ties to a lot of real estate deals and could make it difficult for us to expand. As you smartly pointed out, his core business is real estate. I wouldn't even call him a competitor. It just so happens that most of the properties he owns are fitness centers. Yes, but we already had to buy this property on the hush-hush to keep under his radar. Now you've put us front and center in his field of vision. Evan drops his arms to the side. Doesn't that worry you? What are you suggesting? That he's so powerful he could buy all gym-suitable buildings in America? Mercer is not omnipotent, and he could never take the internet away from us. We're a crowd. Business has been democratized. Didn't you get the memo? Evan purses his lips tighter than a kitten's ass. Don't say I didn't warn you. All right, Taylor Swift, I won't. I give his trapezius a gentle squeeze, the muscle tightly knotted under my touch. Please, go take a yoga class. This level of stress isn't good for you. I leave him to brood alone in my office, hoping he'll heed my advice and blow off some steam with a little controlled breathing, or at least take a sauna. I reach the ground floor and greet various patrons on the way to the women's locker room. The chit-chatting almost makes me late for my class, but I make it a point not to be short with anyone despite being pressed for time. I didn't gain 20 million Instagram followers by being aloof and unattainable. Not the style of the competition, as Evan calls it. The mighty Gabriel Mercer, MGM, I rename him in my head, has exactly zero Instagram followers because he has no Instagram, Facebook, or any other social network on the planet. What a snob. The only thing more annoying than his looks, dark, handsome, groomed to perfection, are his self-celebratory statements on how he turned a $1 million loan into a $10 billion empire. Heck, if I had a million dollars to start with, my company would be a hectacorn by now. Not that I'm judging. But in the male-dominated business world, size counts. The competing little pricks have even designed a scale for their appendage measuring contest. A startup is proclaimed a unicorn when it reaches a billion dollar valuation. That's where I'm at. My company is a rare, magical creature that has beaten all the odds. But I still have to contend with the behemoths that dwarf my worth. The decas, or decacorns, aka the corporations that have hit the 10 billion mark. That's where MGM's at. And above that is the ultimate goal of a 100 billion market cap, reserved for the likes of Google, Apple, and Amazon. Becoming a hectacorn is the pipe dream of every new entrepreneur, mostly unreachable, to be fair, especially for someone like me, a woman with no money and no connections who had to start from zero. But I'm not interested in dwelling on what I don't have or can't ever attain. I prefer to count my blessings for everything that I've achieved and still strive to achieve. For his sake, I hope MGM is the same, that he's too busy making piles of money for himself and his investors to care about little old me and my press releases. He probably doesn't even know I exist. I change into a neon pink sports bra, black leggings, and pull my hair up in a high ponytail. With a bright smile stamped on my face, I cross the gym and enter my hit class shouting, morning everyone. 
Who's ready to pump the heat and grind some positivity into their lives?